All right, welcome to this week's Wednesday webinar. Today we're going to help you see how you can use uh, ESU8's green screen kit complete with an iPad, a green screen app, and everything you need to set up a green screen to make your own classroom video projects. So the kit comes in this big bag and in the bag are instructions. tripod and microphones and there's two different options and uh, as we set up you'll see the different options but those will come with it also iPad charger if you need it we'll also explain a little bit more about that the green screen material and then all of this tubing that as you put it together creates the frame for the green screen. Now if you don't want to set up the entire PVC pipe kit, you could just hang the green screen over something that would hold it up. Um, but this is available for, yeah, for a complete stand. So should we get started setting it all up? We'll get it set up. Obviously, there's backing so you know which way it needs to go. And then you have to separate these again. And you can feed it on both ways or however works best. It is kind of a two person job. It might work good to go all the way one direction and then connect it. Or yeah, if I feed it through here, will we be able to? Probably not. Okay, there we go. The tighter you can pull it and the fewer wrinkles, um, the better it'll appear. However, you'll get a pretty good keying um, effect even with the app without pulling it super tight. We do have these clamps, just one more, that you just pull tight and clamp it to the side about three places. And then if you're going to have a full body shot, you'll want to have um, green underneath the student's feet as well. And if not, then you can position your camera accordingly and you don't need to worry about the, the ground. And it's as simple as that. You now have a green screen. Now to set up the tripod and microphones. So these tripods are also, strength training apparatuses. Actually, they really need to be oiled or something. So you have to use your muscles. And this can go out flat or tall, however you want. There's two snaps here that allow you to make it as tall or as short as you need. You remove the little white um, ring. ring. Thank you on the top and then you have this noodle. This is called a noodle, a graffiti noodle. And it, so you can do this before you put your iPod in or afterwards, but that goes on there. It pan and tilts and then you can tighten it back here. And this comes out and you can clip different sizes of iPads into this for your filming. Okay, so let's grab the iPad. We're sending the iPad inside of a case. It's just a case that we have for protection, but we don't actually recommend filming with the case. So the first thing you'll want to do is take it out of the case, and it is an iPad 2, so it takes the older style charger if you need to charge it. 
Um, the way you put the noodle on the iPad is not side to side, it's actually diagonally. So look for where your camera is on the back here and make sure that's not covered by the noodle and then use two of the other ends. There we go, to snap it into. Very good, Molly. All right, then once again, you can position it, get your camera, and position it to how you want, and then you can tighten this up here, and that will hold it. And would you recommend using the back camera? Um, yeah, the rear-facing camera is going to have a better quality. Unless you need to do it a one-man show, then you can use the front-facing camera and be able to see what you're filming. Most often, though, if you um, have someone running the camera, running the iPad, standing behind it, and then filming forward, that um, rear camera will have a better quality. And if you get tall kids, you probably have to put them on a stool or something or a chair because that's all the taller it gets. <laughs> or you can put it on blocks, I guess. Or you could probably get some green paper um, and cover your bulletin board or your wall behind it. If there's a slight different difference in the two greens, it may not come out as clear as you'd like. Definitely more uniform will, will work better within the app. So um, better audio quality when recording would um, definitely require some kind of microphone. We've got a couple of options for you. Um, one is if you're doing more stationary work, for example, sitting at a table. So this microphone has its own little stand if you wanted to set it on the table. It's a little bit too heavy to, um, to dangle out there, but the students could hold it as well. Um, and you do need the splicer because with an iPad, in order to record, you have to have an end that has the three rings on it. And so, if you were going into your computer, you wouldn't need that splicer or the adapter, but into the iPad you do. And if you look, if you're not sure if it's the orange or the green, it has a little microphone. So, snap that in, snap this in, and it works with your graffiti noodle. Just really good right there. And then this can set on the table if the students were sitting like at a news desk. Um, and then, or it could just even sit, you know, in front. On the ground, yep, that would help. Any kind of off-camera microphone will be better than none. We also have an option we're sending. Um, it is a lapel clip microphone. Works very much the same way. You would just clip it into the microphone, and then it can just clip on the student, especially if they're standing and they're not sitting at a table or something like that. Again, even if you had another student holding the microphone kind of out or laying on the floor perhaps and just kind of holding it up in the air, any kind of microphone will be better than no microphone at all. Both of the microphones should be on. There's no on off switch. Just I would still recommend always doing a test before you actually record your entire scene and then have no audio. All right, now we will show you the app. We're going to be using the Do Ink app, and it's a green screen app that's already on this iPad when it comes to you. And if you want to download the green, Do Ink green screen app on your own, I think it's $4.99 in the App Store, and then you could use it on your own iPads as well. Um, but to avoid that, it comes already on, like Molly said, and we'll switch our camera here so you can see what it looks like. All right, so first we're gonna just go to the camera roll and just capture some footage of Molly in front of the green screen. You can see that we've got our um, setup here with exactly what we just set up for our classroom. And we don't have any extra lights. If you did wanna add some lights on either side of your um, filming subject, it would definitely brighten up your image and help to take out the green later on. Again, this is um, pretty low budget and pretty simple, so it, it'll work. And I'm in camera roll here. I'm in the, the camera app, and I'm on video, and I would just hit record, and Molly can tell me about her trip to the beach. 
Well, that would be lovely, especially since it's snowing out today, Katie. But um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I think this is a great opportunity to capture spring meal. Good. I'm going to hit stop. And those clips are automatically captured and saved in the camera roll. The iPad that we've sent with the green screen kit has all of the apps in one folder other than the doing green screen app, so it should be easy to find. Once you've located it and launched it, you should be presented with a sample project. You're welcome to open that up and test out the tutorials built into the doing green screen app, or you can go to the far right top corner and click the plus sign to start your own new project. Each project has three built-in tracks, and best practice recommends that you start with the bottom track, which is your background first. Hopefully you've already had your students decide on what they're going to put in as the background of their green screen video. Um, it could be a, an image that they've saved from the internet from a copyright-friendly site such as pixabay.com or pixforlearning.com. It could be um, video footage that you've created that you're going to then superimpose your green screen clip on top of, or it could even be a piece of paper artwork that you snap an image of and save it to the camera roll so that you have the ability to access it from this iPad to mix it together in the doing green screen app. So regardless, you should already have those clips saved and we're going to start by adding in our background in the bottom track. We'll click the plus on the far right and the source for this track is an image. We're going to go to our camera roll and find the, the beach scene that we saved from Pixabay. And that now becomes um, the whole bottom bar, and we can add in right above that. Um, take note of where your playhead is located. Right now it is on the far left of my screen at zero seconds, and that's where each track will begin. If I happen to move my playhead around then and add in a new track, it's going to begin at where that playhead is. So I want it to begin at the beginning. We'll line that back up at zero seconds. Tap the plus and this time bring in a video that's again in my camera roll the one I want and I'll hit tap use now you can see that doing automatically keys out the green and does a pretty good job um, we don't have a green screen that's wide enough to fill the whole frame however so I recommend using the cropping symbol um, or button towards the right edge of your screen right above your video tracks. When you do that, you can pull in the handles and say, I only want you to use this part of my video frame. And then I'll hit done. And now it takes Molly and fills her up on my whole screen, but it gets rid of the part that wasn't with the green screen background. Um, I can also pinch and zoom. So I just pinched my fingers in to make Molly smaller and as I'm doing so with two fingers I can drag her around and place her in the scene exactly where I think she um, should be placed. I can hit play and preview it at any point and see if that's where I want her to talk and move around um, and you can see that this looks really good. I'll hit pause. Just for fun we're going to add a third video track and we can do so again with the same image sources. We'll just tap in that top track, tap the plus, and we're going to add a beach ball that again we've saved from Pixabay so we know that it's copyright free, public domain. We'll tap on it and tap use. And what you'll notice about the beach ball is if we pinch it smaller is that doing green screen app automatically keyed out the green. The little part of the green of uh, the beach ball that was green is now invisible or transparent and we actually want to keep the green in for this shot so at any clip even with the video clip we can adjust the chroma keying by clicking that rainbow colored wheel next to the crop symbol um, I could turn the sensitivity up and down if my green wasn't quite bright enough I could turn up the sensitivity um, I could change to a different color so if I wanted to key out the blue of the beach ball you can see it now makes that transparent or the red um, and this is really good to help show the science behind um, green screening and how it works anyway, regardless. Um, for this particular example, we don't need any color keyed out. 
So we'll just slide the sensitivity all the way down so that nothing is being erased and then tap back on that rainbow wheel to deselect the tool. Remember I can pinch and zoom and move around my image to place it wherever I want. And now you have three layers being green screened together in my video project. There are some simple editing tools in this app. I find them a little bit more cumbersome than perhaps say iMovie, but you can slide the handles. So maybe I don't want the beach ball to start until later on in the video, um, or perhaps I want it to end sooner. Um, I can also, and this is probably something that will come up when you use this app, you're going to have lots of extra background and you want it to basically cut off right where your video cuts off. So at some point, get your playhead lined up with the end of your video track and then just um, tap and hold anywhere on your tracks to get your editing bar across the bottom of your screen and hit trim. And what that does in each of those tracks is it trims the end right up to the playhead so that you don't have extra video footage taking up space and time in your in your finished product. So here we are we have a video uh, project that begins with Molly in the beach, adds in the beach ball, and quits all at the same time. Um, all I have to do now is hit save in the middle of my toolbar. It's exporting my project and once it's finished mixing all three layers together it will ask me what I want to do with it. and I will choose to save to the camera rule. Roll. And from here I can share it any way you feel comfortable. You can use the sync cord provided with the iPad to import it into a computer. Um, if you want to set up an email account or a Google Drive account, you could export it that way. Um, the iPad 2 won't airdrop, but on a newer iPad, you could definitely use airdrop to send from the camera roll to any other iOS device or even a Mac computer. And um, there's always the option of sending straight to YouTube as well. I'm going to talk a little bit about how I think this is a great opportunity to capture students' um, creativity. They can show you what they've learned through a quick little um, video cast. And so I really hope that you take advantage of this technology. So there you have it. We hope that we've made it fairly simple and seamless for you to check out the green screen kit from the ESU8 Media Center. Um, set up the equipment and start filming your own green screen projects with the Doink green screen app. However, if you're feeling a little overwhelming, like, oh, I don't know if I can do that, don't worry. We are happy to come with you um, that first time you're using the green screen and the green screen app. We'll help you set it up. We'll help you do the filming, um, put it together in the Doink app. So we are here to help you. So please call us. Definitely. So we can't wait to see what you and your students create with the creativity and power of green screen. Thanks so much. Bye.